All right, so unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple of days, you must know about the most trending video that's ever graced the populace in 2024. That's right. I'm talking about the Cat Williams interview with Shannon Sharp. So today, I'll talk about seven powerful hacks that Cat Williams uses to make his stories more compelling and how you can be a better storyteller in any of your conversations. Starting with number one, the importance of engaging delivery. Now, when we talk about storytelling, one crucial element is delivery. Think about Cat Williams and his animated, dynamic style. It's not about what you say, but how you say it and how you convey it. Your delivery can turn any ordinary story to the most compelling, interesting, unforgettable moment of anyone's life. Think about the way that Cat Williams uses his body language and his facial expressions and utilizes his voice to convey a certain tone to impact his narrative. I mean, just look at how Cat Williams keeps Shannon hooked from start to finish. You can easily achieve this by just taking 10 minutes or more a day, talking to yourself. And it's not as weird as it sounds. What you're gonna be doing is practicing varying your tone, your pitch, and pacing when telling stories. Use facial expressions or gestures to emphasize something important. In this situation, you are your best training partner. Or if you have a friend that you feel comfortable talking with, do that with them as well. And then I want you to take it up a notch and record yourself. Record yourself and analyze how your delivery either enhances or detracts your story's impact. And then give yourself the feedback. Moving on to our next point, observational skills. Cat Williams' stories often stem from keen observations of life. Have you ever noticed that the smallest details can make a story a lot more interesting? Cat has a knack for highlighting nuances that many of us overlook as shown when he's calling out every single person who spoke poorly on his name. So train yourself to notice small details in everyday situations, and then start incorporating these details into your stories to add more authenticity and vividness. An exercise you can do is to keep a journal to jot down things that you notice every single day or type it down in your phone, and then take those observations and talk about it with somebody, your friend, your family, some random person on the street, doesn't matter. This will prime your brain to be on the lookout for anything out of the ordinary. After all, the best stories often emerge from the most mundane situations that we experience in our everyday life. Which takes us to number three, connecting with your audience. Connecting with your audience is key. Cat Williams tailors his stories to resonate to a lot of different people. Black, white, single, married, doesn't matter. It's all about being relatable. I mean, that's literally how you make friends and lasting relationships. So let's dissect the art of creating connections through storytelling. Before sharing a story, Consider your audience. Are they boring work colleagues that live, breathe, and die for their profession? Or are they just nonchalant individuals that live life on their own accord? Those are two vastly different groups. So storytelling would differ greatly between the two groups as well. You have to pick and choose your narratives to their interests and experiences. Just look for universal themes that resonate to a diverse audience. For example, love, family, or even talking about a certain loss. That will make them feel a lot more connected and engaged in what you're saying, because they can relate to that. So be mindful who you're talking to instead of relying on the, the same style suits all method. Now let's dive into the comedic aspects of this. Humor and timing. Obviously Cat Williams is a master at this. His impeccable timing and his clever use of humor keeps us all hooked. So experiment with humor in your stories. Try to figure out what makes you laugh and then try to incorporate that into your stories. Incorporate those similar elements. It's not a crime to copy a joke that you heard. It's only a crime if you don't give the credit to the person who made the joke up. So practice your timing. Allow for moments of suspense. Pause effectively. <laughs> Got it. And deliver punchlines with confidence. That's how you make a joke. But most importantly, pay attention to who your audience is. Pay attention to their reactions because some of them may not be as open-minded as you think they would be. But it's your prodigy, I'm not funny. What do I do about that? Trust me, anyone can make a joke. Whether it's something that you heard from someone else or it's something straight off the dome. Now to pull it off, that requires confidence and practice. So I'm using this as a reminder to sign up for my free one-on-one -on -one call to help you get rid of your social fears based on what I've experienced. The link is in the description below. I still got three more to go. And number five is regular practicing. Perfect practice makes perfect, right? Right? It's no different when it comes to storytelling. I'm gonna say this to the day I die. You have to put in the work. You get what you put in. Cat Williams didn't become a legend overnight. He put in the hours, he put in the blood, sweat, and tears, and wigs, and makeup, and all that on. So set aside time to regularly practice storytelling. Share stories with friends or family about how your day went or what attractive girl you saw. Try to describe her. Personally, I watch hella YouTube videos. 
I primarily focus on how the YouTuber is telling me their story and keeping me engaged rather than mindlessly following along to whatever they're saying. Embrace the learning process. It's supposed to be hard. It's not gonna be quick and easy, but it really helps when you're open to feedback. And consistent practice is the key to improvement. Whether you're a seasoned storyteller or looking to just start being a better storyteller, there's always room for growth, always room for improvement. Now, let's talk about being original. Let's talk about bringing your unique voice into storytelling. Cat Williams injects his personality into every story he tells. He has a very unique voice. Sort of high pitched, but nonetheless very unique. I'm finna buy me a self-driving car. <laughs> out of here, I'm gonna be in the back seat. You pull me over, I don't know what to tell you. Talk to the driver. Sometimes I hear it in my dreams. To develop your own sense of originality, it's about being authentic and true to who you are. I always say this, but nobody knows who they truly are until they sit in their room by themselves with no one to talk to but themselves. I'm not trying to be Plato or Socrates or anything like that, but you can be as free, liberated, naked, goofy as you wanna be because you're alone. Now the next step is to bring that person out, that character out little by little in conversations that you have with your friends first. Friends or family first. Having conversations with people you feel comfortable with and then expanding out little by little to a broader audience as your comfortability starts to grow. Embrace that unique perspective that you were blessed and born with. And don't be afraid to share personal perspectives or viewpoints that you have about a certain topic. Those are distinctly yours. Originality is what sets you apart from the rest. Sometimes it's better to be the creator of a trend rather than just aimlessly follow along with the trend. So don't be afraid to inject your own personality into your own stories, just like how Cat Williams does. The last hack is learning from the best. We can all benefit from analyzing great storytellers. Cat Williams is a prime example, but you can watch and analyze great storytellers, not just comedians, but authors, speakers, and filmmakers. Hell, you can even go learn from actors or actresses if you want to broaden your experience. Identify techniques that captivate you and take those elements and put them into your own storytelling. Almost like a monkey see, monkey do type of feel. Monkey see, monkey do. That's it. Monkey pee all over you. That rhymes. Learn from a variety of sources to broaden your storytelling repertoire. By understanding what makes these masters great, we can integrate these lessons into our own storytelling toolbox and captivate anyone using just our words. And with these seven hacks, I'm willing to bet that anyone can become an effective storyteller just like how Cat Williams is. Setting yourself miles ahead of the competition. And with that being said, develop a prodigy mindset and tackle your problems with everything you got. I believe in you. Take care. Peace.